Welcome to our mini-series on Thermal Imaging 101. One of the many things we talk about in Thermal Imaging use is getting firefighters to understand what they're seeing. We're going to talk about the search application. If your fire department is doing thermal imaging training and for search, you need to actually have thermal. You have to have heat. Many of the problems that we create are from our own training and not learning the proper way to do these things. So if we use a fake smoke environment and use a hot victim, firefighters end up learning that a victim looks like white hot when a victim doesn't look that way in a fire. We're going to teach you two simple rules when you're identifying a victim in a fire. First, the background temperature and the body temperature. What's the overall background of where you're looking? That affects how this image is displayed, how much energy is hitting the detector, and what is it focusing in on. What's the overall body temperature of the victim? If the victim is alive and laying on the floor, they're going to show up cold in a hotter environment. If they've passed away and they're no longer emitting energy, they're a passive emitter and they may blend in with the background. So when we look at this environment and we're trying to identify objects, we have to consider the context of that environment, how hot it is and what are we looking for. If we're looking for a victim, remember the studies have shown we may show the layout, we may show the area where the victim is, but the victim may be hard to see. So train your firefighters to identify victims as they present in a real fire. Don't set them up for failure. Do actual thermal imaging training and do use the research and the resources we have on our website, our friends with Seek Thermal, and make sure you understand what you are seeing. Make sure they understand that before they go into a working fire for the first time. We want them to be set up for success so they can do what they swore to do, which is protect and save lives. Thanks for watching. Stay intelligently aggressive. See you next time.